Joining us right now is communication strategist and advisor Robbie Borhouse. Robbie, good to see you. Hi, Maria. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. My Characterize pleasure. what you see this morning. Well, what I see is, is that we need to stop looking at this uh, presidential race through the lens of politics. Donald Trump has created a new reality show. He's bringing in characters. He thinks that he's already president, and that's the way he's acting. That's why he can say whatever he wants to say, and every single person that says anything against them. It just empowers them. Yeah, they're really getting now into the mud with, with, with some of this uh, name calling. Is it too late to be as aggressive as Marco Rubio has become against Donald Trump, do you think? Well, Leadership 101 is you don't talk about against something. Mother Teresa said, I'm never going to go to an anti-war rally, but a peace rally, I'll be the first one there. So all these people there against Donald Trump, it empowers them. It, no, what they need to do is they need to find clarity of vision in something, but it's too late, Maria. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump is, he sucked all the oxygen out of the room. Awesome. But don't you think that Donald Trump's candidacy has sort of irrevocably split the Republican Party? Meg Whitman's reaction to uh, Chris Christie's it endorsement, stunning. it was stunning. She stunning. said, basically, Chris Christie, you're dead to me. I've been a contributor to you. Well, she I supported was his campaign co-chair, which we should point out. Oh, that was why right. that, was, that was even more shocking. But look at this from a, from a perspective, from a reality show, not politics. Donald Trump is beholden to nobody. He believes that this is a reality show. So for a, a competitor, Chris Christie, to switch and become an advocate, now all of a sudden, it's better TV. I mean, he, he has, if you look at it from a Twitter perspective, the top six people in Twitter are singers. One is Barack Obama. The rest coming down in, in terms of politics, Donald Trump. He knows how to play this as a reality show, mm -hmm. and that's why we're watching it. Yeah. But will that actually win the election? He's yeah. going to be the next president of the United States. You think so? Absolutely. Well, I mean, Hillary's going to be there, and she's going to have experience and specifics and know-how, and he doesn't give you any specifics. You don't think the people... Well, tell me what, Maria, Maria, tell me what Hillary stands for. I ask people every day. Donald no, Trump I agree is not with my that. candidate. She's also muddled. Right. Uh, you know, Bernie Sanders has risen so quickly so far because we know what he stands for. I don't believe he's electable, but I do believe that if you ask, what does Donald Trump stand for? Mm. You know what does Bernie Sanders stand for? You know it. Hillary Clinton wanted to be president since she was a, a child, and now we know Donald Trump but, wants to create this the, new the, show. But the negative Trump sentiment, the number one trending topic Saturday morning was hashtag never Trump. And I think it was started by Eric Erickson, who was on this very program right. last week. And it was on the right and on the left. So maybe it doesn't deny him the Republican GOP nomination, but it could be enough to keep him out of the White House. They don't have to vote for Hillary. They just have to vote for nobody. Right. And I'm talking about Republicans. My children are our children, but my children are in their early 20s, college and just out of college. They're friends. I asked them, who are you voting for? Well, we went Trump. Trump. Mm -hmm. And you asked, I asked the young women, who are, are you going to vote for Hillary? Can't do it. It's, it's, it's so compelling. And the thing is, is that when you ask people about Donald Trump, they say, oh, he's saying it like you, politics is thrown out the window. It doesn't exist. Yeah. Well, you know what we have right here today, Gaines Point, if you get a Hillary versus Trump, you have two negatives. You have people with high negatives for different reasons. His are higher than course, hers are, right. shockingly. But, but to, the, to the point you just made, you know, younger voters, people are out there, they're voting more on pop culture than on policy exactly. and politics. And it works. And I got to say, unfortunately, this is about winning. And if you can capture the people's votes Absolutely. and win the presidency, and their then, then you're going to have to deliver the specifics and right. the governance. That's right. And the key for Trump is he's got to banish his past and all the, all the things that conservatives don't like it or the more conservative voters. And then he's got to, I call it, burnish his credentials on how he's going to govern his But it's not in the past. But it's not in the past. He said last week he wants to change the libel laws, which is essentially taking a hatchet to the First Amendment so he can sue he's, the media he's played, more. He's played that the is so anti-conservative to mm. say, I want to sue more. Right. I want to change the laws. Uh, tort reform has been a mantra of conservatives right. for years and it never happened and now he wants to go in the other but, direction. But the so it's not in his past. The general election voters are not just the conservatives and this is what, and look, nobody, by the way, I hate these polls that tell you Trump can beat Hillary, Rubio, Rubio can beat Hillary, Hillary can beat Trump. They're all garbage. Mm -hmm. The fact is that you have got to learn how to play through the primary That's right. and, not get, and get into the problem of pivoting to the general election and whether Trump can do it or not, we'll see. 
see, but I'm with you. We need specifics. Yeah. Or else he's well, not it's not that like you guys have just written the script. I mean, Trump will be the nominee, and you think he'll ultimately win like the election. I, yeah. Yeah. He wrote the script right. when he made but the you decision. Believe, you, believe it. you and I talked yeah. months ago. We said, do you think he's going to go all the way? I, didn't, I thought it was a game for him. Mm. But he's become empowered. Right. He's finds, he's, he's, he has scripted this perfectly. And, you know, to your point, if you look at the past, it doesn't matter. Because for Trump, as a, as, a, as a reality show candidate, for him it's, don't confuse me with the facts, let me tell you what I think. No, the present doesn't even matter. Yeah. What he says, <laughs> right. it, when he says things that are even repugnant, and I'm not talking about att attacking other candidates, just that kind of make you go, what is he talking about t attacking Bush 43 and calling him a liar? It doesn't matter. But who are we talking about, Michael? Who are we talking about right now? Donald Trump. Yeah. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Why? It's because he is the person that has captured the heart and minds of so many people and, and in, a, in a reality show way to make you want to watch more. What's he going to say next? I'm reality sorry. show you know TVs was... have good guys and bad guys. Right. And you talk about both of them. And America is split very much about whether he is absolutely a bad guy mm. or he is the second coming. But we, and I, I just don't see how he wins Florida with 80% negatives with the Hispanic vote. That's because okay, of our age. So that's, a, that's a really important point. And, and, and yet the Hispanics were there for him in Nevada. Well, but it was the he got 40 percent of the 8 percent of the Hispanics mm. who voted it's in the Republican. The, 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 That's the, just, the number of real. Hispanics who voted yeah. in the, Re the Republican caucus out there, mm. it was less than 1 percent of the Hispanic population of Nevada. He mm. called out he called out a Hispanic judge this weekend. I thought there was going to be more blowback on that. There wasn't. He called out the New York Times in ways I've never heard anyone calling out the New York Times. Yeah. I will predict what will bring him down. And that is that the New York Times article this weekend about his cyberbullying and about his willingness to use Twitter to, to spread false rumors about people, people are going to start asking themselves, can we give this guy control over the IRS? And the FBI. No, I said yeah. that eight months ago, and I was dead wrong mm -hmm. that that would hurt him. And I want to. Can we give Mike Berlin credit? Cause mm -hmm. Mike Berlin, right after he declared his candidacy, was following the conversation on social media that he was driving. And Mike said all along, everybody's underestimating him. Every time he's been on this program, month after mm -hmm. month after month, he was talking about it, and he has been right. And now everybody's catching. Yeah, up. a lot of people were saying that. No, it's, it's absolutely true. It's not over yet, though. And yeah. he's not playing by the rules that we're used to. That's the game changer. Yep, there true. is no question about that. <laughs> Robbie, thank you very Thanks, much. Maria. Robbie Borhouse joining us.